This is a quick Blender tutorial on creating a leather material in Blender Cycle Render. First we'll set up our scene. I'm just going to delete our cube. Put in the monkey. Set my camera view. up so you can see the material a little bit better this time. That looks good. Just toss the lamp in there. Now, since we're going to do a cycles render, let's change our engine up here to cycles render. And this is a little rough, so I'm going to just quickly add some subdivision, smooth. And I kind of want my world background to offset it to be more black. So go up here to the blue world, use nodes, set it to black. Turn on my rendered view. Let's get ready to do our material. So down here, I'm going to open up the node editor. And go into my materials, create a new. You'll see we have our diffuse BSDF and our material output, which is going to be at our end result. So we'll put our material output over here. This is going to be one of our starting nodes. Let's add in a glossy. Let's bring to a shader. Glossy. Then I want to add in a Fresnel. So I'm going to go to input. Fresnel. And then I'm going to add a Veroni texture, which this is going to give us our like, leathery type ridges. So I'm going to go to texture. Now, Fresnel I'm going to leave as default. My diffuse color is going to be my leather color, so I'll just pick a nice red. Glossy I'm just going to leave the same. And for my Veroni texture, this is going to be kind of our, our ridges or leather effect on the material. So I'm going to start out with a scale of 60, but with the finished result you can adjust this to kind of get the effect you want. Now, since we got the glossy and the diffuse here, we're going to want a mix shader, which will be affected factor-wise by the Fresnel. So we're going to add a mix shader. Put our glossy in, diffuse is already in, Fresnel in. And then our shader goes to surface. Now I want to add a invert node, so we're going to go to color, invert, place that there. We're going to go from color to color, and then I'm going to change my factor here to 0.6. Now I want to do a little bit of math, so we're going to go to converter, math, and then we're going to run our color into our value. And I'm going to change add to power. Now the value of this we're going to set to 0.1. And then we're going to run our value into our displacement. Now if I, these are, this is, we're done with the node editor at this point. So I'm going to drop this down a little bit and kind of zoom in. And you can see how we have that leathery effect here. So if we go for a final render, I'm going to set my render settings to HD TV 1080p. My sampling to say 36 and hit render. Now 
And like I said on our Veroni texture node, where we set the scale to 60, you can adjust your ridges and your leather design by adjusting that scale. Um, but this is our end result. I think it turned out pretty good. So happy blending.